Hello everyone, welcome to the next part of this tutorial. Today we're going to install the ESL server software. And in order to do this, we go to the Opticon.com website where you can always find the latest version of the software. So let's do that right now. I have a standard Windows desktop computer. I'm going to start the browser up. And we go to Opticon.com. We're going to the display solutions and the easiest way to find the ESL Surf software is by going to communication where we can see one of the base stations that we offer. And we're going to the ESL server software, scroll down a bit and download the latest software version of the ESL server. Store it on our hard drive. And once it is downloaded, we will open the zip. We will unzip everything in the package. And after that, we are left with a manual and the actual installation program. So let's run the installer and I'm going to walk you through every single option that's available in this installer. This is the installation for version software uh, 1.0.72.4. It is the latest version as of the moment of this recording. But as I said, if you go to Opticon.com's website, the latest version will always be on our website. We're going to press next. We're going to accept the terms and the license agreement. And then we have all the options available during installation. The top one is, of course, the most important one, the actual ESL server software application. You can choose a new location where to install it. By default, it installs on the C drive in the folder Opticon in the subfolder ESL server. So we want to install this. And we're also going to install example templates and example databases because that allows us to easily start a demo kit. If you want to use your own database or design your own templates, we'll also have a tutorial on how to design them. Feel free to turn these uh, options off. We're also going to install the web application because that will help us a lot with linking in a later episode when we manage the ESLs. You can create a start menu shortcut if you want. Upload is for installing applications on other Opticon devices like the H13 or OPH scanners. You can install USB drivers, which are needed for some of the Opticon uh, scanner uh, cradles. You can install the web service in order to enable the NFC features in our uh, powered ESL range. And I'm going to install them. And then there is Zump. Zump is an open source piece of software which installs a web server uh, and a MySQL database servers. When you install these two, it is very easy for you to have a locally running database. As I'm already installing the example databases, I'm also installing Zump in order to have a demo version of this software up and running really fast. If you want to use your own database, feel free to watch our tutorial on how to connect to a database because we support a lot of different databases. I'm going to install it. I'm going to press next and our installation begins. The status bar updates while we're installing. And as Zump is a external piece of software, it actually starts up a uh, new installer screen for Zump itself. That was the installation of the web service, registering a couple of ports. Ah, 
There's the Zump installer. This one might take a while, so we're going to cut away and we'll come back when it's done. It may take us a couple of minutes before we're back. And there we go. That was the installation of the ESL server software. We're going to finish and it's going to ask us whether we want to restart our system right now. Um, when you do, it will uh, start up the uh, Apache and MySQL services that Zump installed for us. You can press no, uh, but you will need to manually start Zamp. So I would advise to just restart your system. That takes us through the installation of the ESL server software. We're going to use it in the other tutorials. So stick around for those. If there are any questions arising from the installation process, please feel free to contact Opticon support. There's a link in the description. And we hope to see you in the other videos of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.